Hey guys, this is Jan and welcome to my channel Jan as Mommy. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys to my kitchen. Come along with me. <laughs> Little fun while shooting. Let's get started. This is the entrance of my kitchen. On to the right, I have the stove top and few cabinets and it's basically the cooking part of the kitchen. On to the left side of the kitchen, I have a sink, dishwasher area, so it is basically the wet side of the kitchen. I'll take you a 360 degree of the kitchen and after that let's see how the cabinets are organized and what I have in it. This kitchen is completely designed and planned by me and my husband. It is designed in such a way that even the nooks and corners of the kitchen are well utilized. This kitchen is neither big nor too small. It is a medium sized kitchen and we chose black and white color combination, one of our favorites. And the countertop used over here is the white granite stone. Usually the white makes your space to look so big. That's why my uh, medium sized kitchen is looking quite big in the video. And one more rule what we had in our mind while planning was not to keep much items on the countertop. That really gives a good and neat look to your kitchen. You can see I don't have much on the countertop, even the oil containers, everything is pulled onto the wall. Down to the stove top, we have cabinets with some drawers. On the countertop next to the stove, I have cooking water on a pot. Under the top cabinet, I have these small shelves to keep frequently used spices and masalas. Onto the left top cabinet, I have few pulses and some more masalas and I have uh, health mix powders like badam mix, banana powder, health mix powder for my baby. And I have a uh, 4 burner stout top and from the brand Bosch. Onto the top right cabinet, I have some breakfast items like samba rava, cinnamon powder, some peanuts, some green teas. On the down shelf, I have salts, sugar. On the right bottom cabinet, on the first drawer, I have scissors, knives and utensil holders. All my drawers are soft closing type. On to the second drawer, I have all miscellaneous stuffs like filters, the crater, masher, bottle cleaning stuff. Onto the third drawer, I have school, office, tiffin bags, lunch bags. That's it about the right bottom cabinet. Let's move on to the left side bottom cabinet. On the first drawer of the right bottom cabinet, I have a cutlery tray. It is really useful to categorize the spoons and ladles. Actually, it has come out with the wrong size. It needs to be fit inside the drawer, but it is not fitting. But still, I didn't send it for modification because it is just fitting on top of the drawer and it gave me some more space to keep extra spoons and ladles down below. Something good happened with the mistake, but this really helps me to keep my extra spoons and ladles. Let's move on to the next drawer. On the second row, I have frequently used coffee mugs, plates. On the third row, I have plate holder. It came up with two sections. One is big to keep all the plates and the right one is the small one where I have kept all the lids. Actually, it was not there in the design but it really helps me to keep all my lids. Just down below the stove top, we didn't have any cabinet, just a door as we need to keep the cylinder and I have a metal rack to keep all my dosa pans. On top of the cylinder, I have a chila maker and next to the cylinder, I have a chopping board. On top of the furnace, you can see a cute Bluetooth speaker from Levi's. 
I have a habit of listening to music while I cook and clean. As I said earlier that we don't have much thing on the countertop that's why we have pulled even the oil containers onto the wall and even the tissue holders. That's it about the stove top section of the kitchen. Let's move on to the next side. That's the wet side of the kitchen. We have a sink and two tape. In one of the tape I have this extended tape which moves a 360 degree and it is easy to clean the sink as well as big utensils. I have a small dustbin in the corner and sponges. Next to the window I have all purpose cleaner liquid for my uh, little daughter and dishwashing solution. On the right side of the wall I have a cute decor. There is always time for coffee. I'm a coffee lover so I have it and it really motivates me. Just above the sink we have a water purifier. We have hired the water purifier with a door to give a consistent look to the kitchen. Next to that I have nuts counter and top of it I have one pullover shelf to keep all the juice glasses. Frequently used juice glasses or kept it in a tray so that whenever it is needed I can just pull and keep it back. Next to the sink I have this cute utensil dryer. I served a lot to find it out. This cute white one is perfect for my kitchen. Let's finish off all the top cabinets in this section. In this shelf I have some extra spices and spices which I use for making biryani. I have few more space in this shelf. On the top corner I have my favorite green tea. One is with lemon and the other one is the normal one. That's it about this shelf. Let's move on to the next. Onto the next shelf I have all my food containers, all Tupperware and plasticware items. On the top shelf I have some Arta and some of the baby foods. On the countertop I have a sterilizer for my baby. And this is from the brand Pigeon and it is one of the best thing I have got for my baby. As it is used daily, I have kept it on the countertop itself. Next to the sterilizer, I have a microwave oven. On top of the microwave, I have a big box of peanut butter, one of my favorites. And some sauce spreads and the cute little tiffin box for my baby. I always have some snacks in it, so whenever I go out, I'll just take it up and drop in her diaper bag. Next to the oven, there is a small window. I have one radio over there next to the window and a motor and pencil. Next to the window, I have onion basket. I served a lot to get this amazing product from Amazon. It has two metal racks and it is easy to pull and push back. I have one separator to keep the garlics. On top of it I have a bouquet basket which I have reused to, to keep the potatoes, onions and some breads. Next to this I have my mixer grinder. In between the mixer grinder and the onion basket, I used to keep all the cooked food and this is the place for soaking also. So last night I have soaked some bajra to make some dosa. Onto the top of this I have one small cabinet. Here I have kept my vegetable chopper. This is from Prestige, one of the best products I would say. Also I have all the accessories of the mixer grinder in this shelf and a plumb box. Along with that are some big storage containers. Onto the left side of this I have my OTG oven from the brand Bosch. On top of the oven I have a small shelf which I made it as a pantry section. Kept baskets to keep all the spices and provisions. And I have a basket to keep all the baking stuff. I have brown rice over here and oats also there. On the back side of the door I have this chalk paper and I have
have written what is there in my pantry and also I'll write what needs to buy so that I can clearly know what is there and what is not there in my pantry. Next to this OTG counter I have my fridge. This is the odd man out in this kitchen. I don't have much things on top of the fridge apart from pickles and this is one of the best thing I have in my kitchen, the screwdriver. My husband always says stitches on time saves nine. Yes, that is true. I will fix as and when I see the unscrewed cookers or utensils. I have some kitchen towels as well there. That's it about the top cabinets. Let's move on to the bottom cabinets. This is the cabinet under the sink. On the right side I have a two tire shelf which I have retained from my previous apartment. Here I have all cleaning solution sprays and some microfiber in this box and some dishwasher stuff over there. Next I have the dishwasher from the brand Bosch. During this lockdown time this has become one of my best friends in my kitchen. It is really helpful for me. I just love this appliance. The next bottom cabinet is quite bigger and wider. It is designed in such a way to fit in all the pans and the cookers. Next comes the place where we all go wrong while designing the kitchen module. That is the corner area of the kitchen. We want this area to be 100% functional area so we decided not to have any cabinets in it. We made this area as a perfect storage area to have extra cylinders, rice bags, extra masalas. It accommodates so many. Still I have some more space in it. On to the next bottom cabinet I have all the ceramic bowls and silver bowls. I have some rice in this box for daily use. Down below this bottom cabinet I have all the hot boxes. In the next bottom cabinet I have some milk pans. I have two big boxes to keep pulses and open the provision packets. Next to the milk pans I have a small basket to keep all my second daughter's miscellaneous stuff like her extra water bottles. it about this shelf. Next is one of my most favorite cabinets in the kitchen. There I have all my glassware items. I don't know I am recently obsessed with different types of glass containers. These are the containers which I have recently got. And look at this small one. Very cute isn't it? Look at this even smaller to that. Next is the one which I have gifted myself is the glass coffee mugs. I'm just loving it. Next to the glassware, I have one cardboard box to keep all reusable bags and some plastic covers. Oops, that's all about my kitchen. I have covered all the cabinets in my kitchen. The white kitchen actually it is easy to maintain. Soon I will post a video on pros and cons of the white kitchen. It's been one and a half years I'm using this kitchen and still it remains the same. I don't find much difficulty in maintaining this kitchen. That's all about the kitchen tour. Hope you like the video. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. Do click on the red button which is down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.